Well, here's our little uh, slalom synchro to the top of the course. Didn't have a lot of time to prepare for it. People in our way, we couldn't wait for them to uh, get out of the way because we had to get to the top of the course. Lindsay was starting 12th, so we gave it a shot. Not easy doing synchro in traffic, as we will see, but we had fun with it nonetheless. Got it going there a little bit. It's like Christian was getting boxed out on the side. Not a lot of room for it to turn. Emily needs better wax. That's uh. It's fun, but while we're here, might as well look at some technique also. So, Kristen, number one, got to widen the feet, right? Way too narrow. We can't get uh, a nice high edge angle with the feet that close together. Lulu, got to commit to that outside ski. Roll both skis up on edge, especially the inside ski. When it's flat like that, Tennessee, you know, you can diverge it, diverge them and scissor them. Got to roll them both up on edge. So the inside ski has to be little toe down, nice high edge angle, and pressure on the outside ski. All right, so you're kind of cheating on that inside ski. It's kind of your crutch. Until we can get that inside ski up on edge, we can never really get the feet off from underneath us. Let's, uh, let's, what's going on with Lindsay? Where'd Lindsay go? There she is. Got to have elbows in front of the torso. And same thing with like Lulu. That inside ski's got to be rolled up. Looks pretty flat. Right. Outside ski's on edge, but inside ski not nearly as much. So to under you, like a crutch. We gotta roll them both up, whether we're going fast or slow. Gotta get them both up to a nice high edge angle platform using ankles and knees and then pressure of the outside ski. What's going on with Emily? Where'd Emily go? Oh, there you are. Couldn't see you as well. There we go. A little bit of the same thing. Got to roll that in. So there we go. We're rolling up a little bit. Could be more, though. That's pretty good. All right. That's what we're looking for. Rolling both feet up, both skis up on edge. Nice high edge angle platform. Not as much this way, it looks like. Like you got a pretty good making left footers. Turn to the right. Let's see the other side here. Yeah, can't see. Good looking turn there. You know, what can we do different? Well, you get a little hunched over. You know, if we get those feet off underneath us a little bit more, we don't, you kind of, you kind of bend over at the waist a little too much. So it really helps actually, it may sound strange, but if you stand a little taller in the upper body, it allows us to get the feet out from underneath us better. That's a pretty good turn there. And that's, the upper body looks a little bit more upright. All right, make sure we're moving forward through the turn. Got to get those hips up over the boot at the top of the turn. It's not bad, but I think we can actually here move forward more through the transition. Get the hips up a little bit more top of the, on the over the boots at the top of the turn. But anyway, let's work on all that, including some synchro 
Maybe next weekend.